Welcome to Andalusia. We're here today with the new Audi A5 convertible. Our test car today is the top version, the S5. But before we hit the road for the first time, let's have a closer look at the exterior design. The front is defined by this extensively pulled down hood here and this one got an extra pressure from the two power domes. They really nearly match at the front. On top of this we do have a very flat single frame and this together really gives the car a very aggressive, a very grown up look from the front. Very important, the headlights here, they are Xenon headlights and they come as standard with LED daytime running lights. But you can also have full LED headlights and on top you can have Matrix LED as well. What you can see at the side of the car is that all the lines here are very precise and very sharp. And for instance, these two here, they go completely around the whole car and that really gives the car the perfect look. The whole car is only 1.38 meters high, so with the roof open, it looks really stretched and I think very dynamic. What I really do like is this chrome line here that runs around the whole glass house and that really gives the car the extra push. At the rear we do find these nicely shaped 3D full LED taillights and they come, if you want, with a dynamic indicator. On top of this, what I really like is this piece of design here. This is the third brake light which is integrated into this chrome line. I think that's absolutely great. And because we do drive the S version, we do have these lovely four exhausts as well. The look and feel of the interior is like in the A5 Coupe. We find finest materials and first-class craftsmanship as expected. Of course, all the safety features of the standard A5 are also available for the convertible as well as the Audi Virtual Cockpit. The new three-layer soft top works perfectly. It can be opened in 15 seconds or closed in 18 and it assures a very quiet drive when closed. For trouble-free phone calls, the new Audi A5 Cabrio comes with seatbelt microphones as standards. The new Audi A5 convertible is, to be honest, Great fun and even me as a tall person I do find more than enough space and typical Audi I can pull the steering wheel very close to me so I can really control the car while driving. I think the combination out of the transmission, the engine and the suspension does a great job even if you want to drive the car sporty but if you really push it to the limit I think it could be a bit more crisp here and there. Lucia with a new Audi A5 convertible. To be really honest, the car not only looks very nice, it also drives absolutely perfectly. It starts here in Germany at 44,000 euros for the base model, but if you want the S version we drove, you have to pay more than 67,000. To be really honest, when you drive here through these lovely countrysides with a roof open, enjoying the sun, I can tell you, now I know why people buy convertibles.